Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Om Kara Taro and to another You versus Them. Capricorn, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Capricorn, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Capricorn spirit. All right, so newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Capricorn, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B bottom of my deck i have the five of swords in reverse i think right now i'll be honest both of you are kind of feeling you lost both of you one person feels yeah this is over no second chances they haven't come towards me um i didn't want this connection to end but i'm not going to chase them either but i did want something you know positive with them feeling very burdened very overwhelmed because uh, there was love here right the other person is devastated they are also feeling god why did this happen it's everything has ended my person is not talking to me i've lost out on a you know long-term partnership i wish i could end the fight but that's happened between us feeling very depressed uh, they do want to open up they do want to talk so let's see what's going to happen i'm going to first ask the universe uh, spirit tell me why is capricorn and this person feeling this way What's happening in this connection? Capricorn and that person, spirit. Why are they feeling this way now? That's too many. One more, spirit. All right. Okay, so the first card here says Capricorn. <laughs> Love game. Someone was playing mind games. It backfired. I mean, this is a card of everything kind of backfired. <laughs> Somebody is trying to be one up or something and love games. Lessons. Maybe this uh, was supposed to teach you guys some lessons. Obsession. Someone can't stop thinking about this connection now. Oh, both of you, I think. Both of you are feeling miserable, obsessing about the other person, but you... I guess there were some, some mind games being played here. But these were love games, which obviously I can see didn't turn out really well. So both of you probably had some kind of lessons to learn here. So let's start. Let's start with some dialogue message cards here, Capricorn. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then we'll clarify these cards. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn. And that person spirit. Capricorn and that person spirit. All right, let's take a few more from another deck. Capricorn and that person, if they could say something to each other now, spirit, what would that be? Capricorn and that person. All right, and just a few more from a third deck as well, Capricorn, and then we'll start the reading. Capricorn and their person spirit. Capricorn and their person. Good to go. Let's start the reading. And Capricorn, if any of you are looking uh, for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, Capricorn, I was thinking of you last night. I'm shutting you out. I've told my friends about you. I'm scared of losing you. I'm sorry for the way I treated you before. I'm ashamed of it. I always knew since the first day that you were the one for me. Do you still love me? Do you still want to be with me? I knew, I know you're my person. I want to reciprocate your love. My soul is awakening. 
I'm coming back for you soon. My love, I'm missing you so much at this moment. Do you miss me too? I've come to realize that I'm not more awakened than you. You're awake too. I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. I'm very sorry that I caused you so much pain. No one else comes close to all the good things you've done for me. I keep reading our old text messages. All right, so these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, Capricorn, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card, Capricorn, for the viewer. Now, you could be watching, maybe your cross watch is watching for you. So, whoever's been attracted to this reading, this card is intended for that as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message from the universe to the viewer. Forgiveness. Okay, so somebody I think is seeking your forgiveness or maybe you just need to forgive yourself. Like, let go of any resentments. Okay, spirit, now tell me what's going on. Let's start with person A's energy, okay? Uh, and newcomers, please remember, these are not gender-based and I don't know which side you're on. These are two soul energies. If this is your reading, you're resonating, then yes, one side would be you. The other side would be the person who you're connected to, who's in your energy. And um, of course, it could be anyone. Could be a love interest, could be a spouse, ex, could be a business partner, could be your relative or something. Use your judgment on that because this is a general reading, right? So I'm going to focus only on one side first, which is person A. After I'm done here, later we'll move to the other side so you don't get confused. So person A, let's start with you. My focus is on you. Uh, how are you feeling? Judgment in reverse. Why the judgment in reverse? One more. I have a feeling person A was hoping that the other person would step up. They would step up and uh, maybe the person had a, had a vision or a vi you know dream that their person would step up, be their perfect partner. But uh, I don't know. They feel kind of, yeah, they, they didn't offer me any partnership. They didn't offer me equal give and take. They maybe didn't want or see any long-term potential in this connection. Basically, person A says, I'm calling judgment on them because they were emotionally not available. They never opened up their emotions to me. That's the reason I am getting unstuck. I don't, I don't just want to be a friend or a friends with benefits or something like that. So I'm going to stop this connection here and now. I think no second chances to a connection like that. Chariot in reverse, yeah. Some person may say, see, I'm walking away. I was emotionally unhappy. None of my cups got, got filled here. So that's the reason I'm kind of saying enough is enough. I need to put a full stop to this connection and keep it moving. Somewhere person A feels that um, that person either ghosted them or ran away or lied to them or cheated on them or something. That did this, They were sneaky basically. Why do you feel this way person A? Tell me. Uh, world in reverse. What's the world in reverse? Uh, I don't think person A really wanted this connection to end as such. They, they were hoping, I think, that the other person would sooner or later come back and this chapter would not shut down. But now it's like getting a little burdening, getting a little overwhelming. Person A could be realizing that this was all in their head and they were carrying all the emotional baggage. And it's like, yeah, I'm tired now. I'm tired of waiting for somebody who's never going to open up or never going to express their love to me. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm not going to chase them. But I was hoping that they would match me or they would be my equal counterpart. Uh, Empress, yeah, but, uh, whoever per person A is, they, they are, I think, right now quite focused on creating an abundant life for themselves, and they don't want to get fooled uh, or lose their power, or uh, they feel their person is just not maybe strong enough or not taking a leap of faith in their direction. So it's like, yeah, you know, I need to focus on maybe my own stability, my own future and creating my own abundance. It's time for me that I should maybe hold back my energy now and just take care of myself 
and I think by doing that person is coming across as a person who's I think detaching they're trying to detach and say you know what I, I pinned my hopes on them but they, this didn't work out and, and since I'm not going to be chasing them and they are, they are not coming towards me maybe it's time for me to open my eyes and see what else is out there maybe check out my other options or see what else I want to do in life maybe I want to do you know pursue a new hobby or travel or you know think about positive things in my own life because I have to feel safe and secure within my own right person A says I know I bring a lot to the table and I'm going to manifest a beautiful uh, life for myself and not be in a connection with somebody who's all, always playing mind games and making me want to feel like a loser or, you know, takes away my self-worth and, you know, is probably a karmic soulmate who just wants passion and nothing else uh, or is very egoistic and prideful. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so person A, tell me, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person B and how do you feel about the connection? Uh, ten of Wands. What's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, person A says it's not fair. It's not fair that till now I have been doing all the heavy lifting in this connection. I've, I've been the one. Yeah, they tell me they're very happy that I did all these good things for them. But then why should it only be me? Be me. I've been carrying all the load. I've been carrying all the weight of this connection. I think things should be fair and just. And uh, I feel if they can't do right by me, then I need to do right by me by cutting this person off. I think they should be out of my life. I should not trust them because they are still, they still haven't opened up. They just want to keep me emotionally stuck here without ever coming forward and offering me any future. There is no balance. There is no equal give and take. I'll just get stuck in a situation which, will, which is never going to give me emotional happiness. So person A is kind of feeling that, yeah, if this was a soulmate, I've learned my lesson. This contract should be over now. That This person was probably a karmic soulmate. They were only looking for attention from me or from many others. And they were only thinking about themselves. They were not thinking about you know this connection so uh, the good part is person a still has their heart open right so the love was there or is there uh, queen of cups what's the queen of cups queen of cups one more one more i think person he is looking for a soulmate. But they are at crossroads right now. It's not that... I don't know. It's... Maybe they were waiting for an apology or something. Or they're going to... They feel, I'll keep this person as a friend. Because what I want is totally different from what they want. It's almost like person A says, Well, you know what? Hmm... I want somebody for the long haul. This person is maybe just wanting things which are totally different to me. So now that I have the clarity, I should contemplate maybe another direction. Yeah, I think person is quite magnanimous, I would say. They are trying to see things from a higher perspective and uh, it's not that there's any hatred or anger. It's almost like I know what they, I mean, uh, my what I wanted was different, what they wanted was different. I've seen the truth now. I'm clear about, you know, that this connection is going in two different directions. So, you know what, I'll just, I'll just go move towards new love because I have a lot of love in my heart to give. Maybe I should just shut this chapter down and start a brand new one with somebody who actually wants to put in the work. Right? So, I don't see any anger or resentment as such from person A's side. They're showing up in full Empress energy and um, Queen of Cups energy, both upright. And uh, they were only wanting the other person to match them and saying, hey, if you can't match me, it's all right. Uh, maybe there'll be somebody else. So, what action person A will finally take, I will open later. Uh, Capricorn, let's go to, go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. 
person be in your feelings in your emotions well you look devastated to me you feel oh my god everything is over ten of swords yeah things are going backwards instead of going forward maybe they were waiting for person a to reach out first but they haven't they haven't got any message from person a that's for sure and that's kind of making them worry a little more yeah they're very disappointed now very very disappointed because they do value person a in their mind they do see person a exactly as person a is as somebody who is very loving very kind very uh, you know everything good so i don't know why they were waiting for person a to reach out first but because they haven't it's kind of devastating them they are worried that this connection is over why do you feel this way person b four of wands in reverse they feel that because they never made the choice at the right time uh, they broke that person's heart or it led to some kind of a conflict between the two of you because of a choice not made at the right time now i think they do want to end this argument they do want to end the fight because they don't want to be seen as a player first of all and they don't want to spend the rest of their life feeling bad it's like i don't want to grow old and feel i should have tried i could have tried i don't want them to always see me as a player i'm not a player i just want them to give me one more chance i just want them to give me one more chance because now they are also feeling i shouldn't have played those mind games guess who lost i lost i lost out on a big big cup of love which was being offered to me okay so person b you tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you see person a four of uh, cups in reverse they are depressed person b is a bit depressed yeah they are scared they are scared because now they're feeling the void in their heart maybe they have lack of love in their life they're feeling lost they they were probably getting a little bit of you know that um uh, uh energetic filling of their cup from person a for a long time now that that tap has been switched off i think they are finding their cup a little empty right they they could be a bit depressed they could be sad that um why yeah they are they are they they feel that i've lost out i should have given an offer uh, i'm missing them i don't want any other option that was that golden cup that i could have had would have had i think they the it's finally things are becoming clear to them uh high priestess in reverse high priestess in reverse yeah this person is feeling lonely at this time they are still i think wanting to talk they are hoping that this connection isn't totally ended uh they feel they made some unwise foolish choices in the past uh but they are a little scared to take action they are scared because i guess they are not sure whether the other person even wants to communicate with them anymore they not even sure whether the person a is even still single so as much as i think person b wants to talk to person a they could be a little fearful that the other person is still angry and upset with them because of something they did which kind of broke their heart okay so let's see what if you guys will take any action so let's take uh, this deck for the action cards and start with person a's energy so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise action six of cups in reverse <laughs> person a says this contract is over omkara taro how many times will i tell you it's been stagnant for so long tell me six of cups in reverse as an action wheel of fortune knight of wands four of cups queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles yeah okay so person a says i'm listening to my intuition om kara taro for a while for a while i was waiting 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 maybe in time maybe in time they will come forward they will take some action but i was left wanting I was left sitting here I didn't get the offer I wanted I know what I want and I I know what I bring to the table I I know I'm generous I'm loving I'm kind I I bring a lot to the table and I want somebody to offer me just that and till I don't find that person I'm going to continue to stabilize my own life this particular connection well I already told you the cups were empty 
So I'm walking away. I'm move, moving on. Person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise. <laughs> eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> okay, so eight of wands in reverse. Come on. Why the eight of wands in reverse? Are you scared to talk to person A? Why the eight of wands in reverse? Nine of Wands. They're scared because they feel that person A has strong boundaries up, barriers up, probably will not want them back, is going to hold back, will not accept an offer. I think the main thing why they are feeling all that is because they feel the reason why person A is holding back from them is because they've already moved on. I'm sure they already have a new suitor by now. Why else will they not be talking to me, right? I'm, I, I feel that they are now guarding their energy from me because they are already with somebody else. So I think that's the reason they are scared to talk, but there is love here. There is, they, they do have a lot of love. Maybe one more for you, person B, one minute. Yeah, they don't know whether they should or they shouldn't. <laughs> they are attracted to person A, they... But somewhere they feel that they've been cut out and the other person has already moved on. They're just stuck in their head, feeling that they lost. All the games they played, they finally became the loser. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste Capricorn.